Hey everyone, Ross McCorkle here with another episode of the Depot 180. Pittsburgh Steelers will be on the road in Seattle this Sunday to play the Seattle Seahawks. Both teams are still fighting to keep their playoff chances alive, moving into the final week of the 2020 season. Both teams are 8-7, so a win will clinch a winning record for either team. Mike Tomlin and Pete Carroll are two of the longest tenured head coaches in the NFL, and both are among the top 20 in all-time wins, currently just two wins apart from each other. If Tomlin wins, it will be his 17th consecutive non-losing season to move one closer to the all-time record. Pete Carroll took notice of that stat in an interview this week and said that it must be noted any time you talk about Tomlin. He also called him a Hall of Famer. It will be a tall task to come out of the game with a win as the Seattle Seahawks boast a 5-2 record at home. Lumen Field, previously Century Lincoln Quest Field, is one of the loudest and most hostile environments in the league. Think back to Marshawn Lynch's Beastquake in the early 2010s when a big play caused a roar from the fans in the stadium so loud that it registered as a minor earthquake. That will be a particularly challenging task for Mason Rudolph. Early on Friday, Mike Tomlin announced that he would start a second straight game. Kenny Pickett was officially ruled questionable for the game, but Tomlin announced Rudolph as the starter. Rudolph played a great game a week ago against the Cincinnati Bengals in his first start since 2021. He will get a chance to build off that performance, only this time it will not be at home, and he will have to deal with significant crowd noise. If Rudolph performs well, it would be a good problem to have, but a problem nonetheless. Tomlin will have to definitively bench Kenny Pickett in favor of Rudolph. Even if that is basically what is happening this week, the narrative for Pickett benching won't be in full swing because of the injury. Next week, that will not really fly as an excuse. The Seahawks have a laundry list of injuries heading into the game. Their practice report listed Jamal Adams, D. Eskridge, Frank Clark, and Jason Peters as out, while D.K. Metcalf, Devin Witherspoon, Jordan Brooks, Kenneth Walker, and Mario Edwards are all questionable. That list contains some of their top players, so the Seahawks won't exactly be at full strength either. For the Steelers, Minka Fitzpatrick, Trenton Thompson, Andy Landon Roberts were ruled out. Kenny Pickett was questionable. This means the Steelers will once again be without their top four safeties and their top three inside linebackers. Eric Rowe, Patrick Peterson, and Miles Jack will need to maintain their level of play from last week. Let me know how you enjoyed the video on Twitter at Ross underscore McCorkle, and as always, visit SteelersDepot.com for your latest latest and greatest Steelers breaking news and analysis.